Hello everyone, welcome to yoga. I'm Mary Ann, and for the next 30 minutes or so, we are going to move through a series of restorative poses. Restorative simply means that it is calming and healing for the body and for the mind. Primarily restorative poses are forward folds, where the spine is in flexion, and twists, where the spine is in rotation. So we want to get started today in what we call potted palm, or sukhasana, easy pose. It's an easy cross-legged position that we find to begin to center ourselves. So we come into this position here. We could also sit on a cushion to lift our hips a little bit. And we want to sit up nice and tall and drop our shoulders away from our ears and level our chin. As with any practice, we want to bring the spine into neutral at the beginning. I invite us all to close our eyes and mouth and find our breath. So a large part of recovery for the body and the mind is the acknowledgement of the breath. So we want to notice, my friends, the inhalation and the exhalation. So that on the inhalation, we can puff up the belly and fill a balloon. And on the exhalation, we can draw the navel in and up, engaging the abdominals so that among other things, when we move, those engaged abdominals will protect our lower back. As we exhale, my friends, give it a little bit of a sound. Give it a little bit of a hmm. And then just allow that sound to dissipate. Notice how it makes your body and mind calm and quiet. All right, we are going to move into what's called a seated cat we'll remove the spine from flexion to extension. So let's roll our palms to our knees and slide our hands to our ankles. From the center of the chest, lift the breastbone, tilt the chin, and roll the eyes to heaven. Slight back bend. Exhale, we tuck. Drop our shoulders, sit back, chin to the chest. Super gluing it, we lengthen the tail, open the heart, and look up. So my friends, if we had it from the side, it would look like this. Moving from the base to the crown, or from the bottom to the top. Now let's think about creating space in between each individual vertebra of the spine. Next time we're in flexion, or that spine is rounded, let's hold. And in keeping with our theme today, let's separate the vertebra of the spine tucking the chin, stretching the back, the neck and shoulders, and creating space in between those vertebra. All right, my friends, let's inhale and sit up, nice and tall, hands slide back to the knees, and then we'll subtly shift our weight side to side. So moving what we call our sit bones, what we sit on, literally, from side to side, Notice how we're just engaging the pelvic area right now. We're going to take this into rotation. So as we inhale, start to shift the pelvic area forward, and as we exhale, tuck the tail. Notice how we're isolating. We're isolating the lower back, moving it into a small circle. Now as we roll up the spine, we gradually We notice that the circle gets bigger. And then finally, my friends, we add the neck, we add the head, we come into a full trunk roll. And we call this stirring the pot. All right, let's pause the next time everything's shifting forward. And when we're ready, go the other way. Now, when we reverse, 
We could start small and work our way up, or we could go right to the full range. Your choice. Lots of breath, my friends. All right, the next time everything's shifting forward, let's slowly come back to neutral. Let's find our right shoulder and shrug. Now notice the neck, the head, everything is still, except for the shoulder. And as we push down, feel the muscles right here engage and then switch. So we're feeling those obliques, those side muscles here. Start to wake up, getting rid of tension in the shoulder. Now let's shrug and roll. How does that feel? Now let's try both. Shrug and squeeze, yeah. Now add your elbows. So we'll let's lift our hands away from our shoulders and start to increase the range of motion and then reach for the sky. Full arm circle. Lubricating the joints with the synovial fluid that's released when we move like this. Reach through the fingertips, lift the chest, and then we'll lower the arms to shoulder height. Let's turn our palms to the camera and widen our fingers and really lengthen through the fingertips. We're gonna give ourselves a hug. So bring those arms in front of us, crossing right over left, grabbing the shoulder blades and dropping them down. Mm, tucking the chin. Now noticing where we feel a release. Maybe across the neck and the upper and mid back. If it feels okay, dive down into a big baggy shirt and really stretch that spine. Full forward flexion. Breathing, my friends. Draw your navel in and up. All right, let's slowly rise. Let's open the arms. Good. Now reach up. Palms together, and then thumbs to the breastbone. Let's swivel the ribs to the right front corner. So from the center of the torso, just swivel. Heads looking at the corner of the room. Fingertips to the earth. And then from where the seat belt crosses over the pelvic area, twist. Then the ribs, chest, shoulders, neck, head, gaze. Full spinal twist. Beautiful. All right, my friends, let's face the camera. 10 fingertips behind us. Now just open the chest a little and try pushing into the mat with the fingertips. We're gonna come forward. So let's reach our hands forward, right and left, and lengthen our neck. Very gently, my friends, take a walk. Now how far do you wanna go? There's a few things we could do. We could bend our elbows, stack our hands, bring the forehead down. We could stack our fists, bring the forehead down. Or we could just stay here and just kind of melt into the pose. Let gravity do its thing. And then just wiggle around in those hips, feeling them release. Yeah. Beautiful forward fold, very restorative. <sighs> All right, let's roll up. Fingers behind us, rock back. Let's undo our feet and recross. Opposite sides dominant. Let's find our left shoulder and shrug. And then push. So we really want to notice here the fluidity of the movement this time. We've already released, let's roll back, some synovial fluid. Now we're releasing more, lubricating those joints. Now both. Ah, squeezing the shoulder blades back and down. Let's add the elbows. Putting breath into it. And then reaching for the sky. Full arm circle, wherever that is for you today. All right. Reach up, my friends. Hold. Drop our shoulders. Let's lower our arms to shoulder height. Stretch those fingers. Now can we sit up a little taller and then bring the arms in with the left arm crossing on top, taking our fingers to the shoulder blades. It's okay if we can just grab here. 
dropping those shoulders. Let's tuck our chin. First finding the release in the back of the neck. Then if it's okay, continuing on our dive. Pulling the shoulder blades apart and breathing. Now where can we put some more breath? All right, my friends, slowly roll up. Open the arms, big breath in, palms face the sky, sweep them up, hands connect, thumbs to the breastbone, swivel to the left, same thing, fingers down from the base, slow twist. Now, we notice one side from the other. We try to avoid leaning back, we want to remain upright. <sighs> Drawing that navel in and up giving those eyes a nice stretch as we look around the corner. All right, feels good. Come on back, hands to the knees. Let's take our right ear to our right shoulder. So here, drop the shoulders, sitting nice and tall, isolating the cervical spine. Head to center, exhale, chin to the chest. Head to center, left to left. Keeping those shoulders nice and low. Now, head to center, chin lifts high. And then as we exhale, take your bottom lip to the tip of the nose three to five times. Stretching out the jaw, the neck, throat. Nice. Head to center, left to left. Head to center, chin to chest. center, right to right, and one more time my friends, head moves through center, we lift the chin high, bottom lift to the tip of the nose, really stretching all this out here, getting rid of that double chin, if we have one, hopefully, head to center, alright, put it all together, circular clockwise, so ear to the shoulder, chin to the chest, ear to the shoulder, we lift the chin high. Exhaling as we tuck. So what we want to do here is release the neck, the shoulders, to a certain extent the mid and upper back. Pausing the next time the chin's moving toward the chest and we'll reverse. All right, let's pause, chin moving toward the chest, and we'll slowly center the head. Fingers behind us, let's rock back, connect our soles. Now, sliding our heels away from us, let's just feel the hips open, no pressure on your knee. You could roll up towels and place underneath of your thighs. You could also roll up a towel and sit on it. Taking the hands to those thighs, let's roll them open just enough. We're sitting tall and neutral, but we want to feel those hips start to release. We're going to move into what's called turtle. So, tucking our chin, we're going to revisit that big baggy shirt, but this time, let's walk our hands to our ankles. So feeling those thighs open, tucking the chin, let's take a walk as we dive into a big baggy shirt, putting our turtle shell on our back and breathing. So our head could come to the floor. It could come to a brick or a block if we had one and stacked it here. Or it could just hang as long as the neck is not in pain or you're not straining the shoulders. So we have that turtle shell on our back. Very restorative pose. It promotes self-esteem. It's like giving ourselves a hug before we go out into the world for the day. Breathing into our shell. Ah. Oh. Feeling the spine stretch and the hips release. Let's take one more breath. All right, my friends, let's roll up and we'll walk our hands back toward our groin. Let's open our right leg on a diagonal line and bend the left knee. Now we can pull the foot to the groin or we can just bend it, keep it away from the groin. We don't feel it in the knees though. 
We want to be upright. Long leg. Let's take our right hand to our leg palm up and reach for the sky left arm. So this is a lateral spine stretch, dropping the shoulder and then we lean. So this opens the side of the body, stretches the spine laterally, which just is a fancy way of saying side to side. We want to be able to take this top arm behind our earlobe. And if it feels okay, we turn and look up, adding a little rotation to the neck. If it doesn't feel okay, we can smile for the camera or even look at the earth because there's no stress in this pose. Let's go the other way. So let's windmill the arms, taking the left hand to the floor, reaching up with the right arm, pushing our glutes down, reaching. Same thing, lateral spine stretch. We want to be able to bend this elbow, drop this shoulder. If it feels okay, we look up. Keeping the length in this leg. All right, let's try another one. Let's come back to center, reaching up with the opposite hand, bringing them to prayer pose, thumbs to the breastbone, turning to face our right toenails, and then drawing this thigh in so that our hips are square and in line with this ankle. As we exhale, hinge and fold, hands to the thigh, shoulders drop down, breathe. Try lifting the tail and lengthening. This is a stretch for our hamstring, back of the leg, spinal stretch, and a forward fold. Which forward folds are very restorative. Hamstring stretches, very restorative. All right, let's come up. Let's try the other side. So centering our torso, extending, and switching. Hand here, palm up, reach up, same thing, lift, and go. So this time, let's think about the space in between each rib, creating more, freeing up space for our internal organs to function. Sending breath. All right, let's windmill the arms. We'll go the other way, same thing. Notice how the position of this left leg remains constant. We could start to bend and really deepen if we want, or we can stay here. Again, space, my friends, space in the ribs, space in the torso. Good, let's come on back. Arms come up, thumbs to the breastbone. Swivel toward those toes, drawing this right thigh in so our pelvic area is square. Coming forward, hands to the thigh. If it feels okay, a little bit of pressure to the thigh, never to the knee. Notice how far we are from the knee. A little bit of pressure. Try curling the toes to the ankle, maybe even to the point where the heel lifts. Lots and lots of breath. Very nice. Come on back. Now let's extend our legs in front of us and we'll shake. Let's come to all fours. So facing any direction you like, let's come to quadruped. So palms are flush underneath the shoulders, hips, knees, everything's aligned, toenails to the earth. Let's move through our cow cat. So inhaling, we sink, shoulders draw back and down, we lift the chin. Exhaling, we tuck, round roll, push the mat away, tuck the chin to the chest. So inhaling, we sink, shoulders draw back and down, we lift. Exhale, we tuck and round. Let's do two more. So from our tailbone to the crown of our head is the order in which we move, and from the tail to the crown. One more. So we're moving through flexion and extension. Little bit of a back bend, not too much. Then hold your flexion. Breathe. How does it feel now? Can we push them out away? 
All right, let's move into lizard. So from a neutral alignment, let's move the hip and the shoulder closest to the camera toward one another, and we'll look down, see if we can get our toenails to the mat, and then switch. So this is lateral flexion, lateral spine stretch, stretching out the side waist again, just in a different orientation. Last time. All right. Let's come back to neutral. And as we exhale, let's take our knees a little wider than our hips. Feet together. Glutes to the heels. Rolling around in those hips. We want to feel that they're able to release. Now, if it feels okay, we can bring our chest between our thighs and our forehead down, reaching through our fingers. If not, again, we could bend, we can stack the fists, or we can grab a pillow or a cushion or a towel, something to give us that boost. We want to feel those hips, though. We really want to be able to get into them and lengthen our spine. We're going to try to come from here to a quadruped crocodile. So this is flexion. This is child's pose flexion of the spine. As we tuck our chin and come up to all fours, we bring our shoulders toward our wrist line. That's neutral. Finding the abs and then inhale settling back. Now if we feel compression in the knee, then we want to roll up the mat. We want to pad up, but we shouldn't feel compression. So if we do, maybe reach your fingers forward a little further. so that we roll beyond the knee. So as we come up, we're rolling beyond it. We're engaging our hips, we're engaging our abs. Good. Come on back, stay here for a moment. Maneuver. We're gonna try to thread the needle. So taking the arm furthest from the camera, let's slide it underneath the opposite arm, bringing our shoulder, cheek, and ear to the floor. Feeling that release across the upper and mid back. Little bit of rotation in the neck. Notice your hips though. Nothing going on. They're level. Now in this pose, my friends, we are opening the lungs. We are able to release stale air. Fabulous. Let's slowly undo this side. We'll go the other way. So we're going to be turning away from the camera. So unthread. And we'll switch. Breathe. All right, my friends. Let's unthread. Good. Now let's slowly slide our hands underneath of our shoulders, looking at our mat, pushing the mat away. We're going to come up to seated and roll over. Let's turn around and lie down. Giving those hamstrings a little bit more of a stretch. Let's pull the back thigh, the one furthest from the camera, into the chest. And if it feels okay, extend the front leg. Breathing. Shoulders push down away from the ears. And if it feels okay, tuck your chin to your chest, nose toward the thigh. If it doesn't feel okay, stay here. Breathe. Feel the length in this leg, the stretch in the opposite hamstring. Good. Now let's lower our head and switch. So we'll take this back foot to the mat, front foot to the mat, and we'll switch sides. Draw the front thigh in. Keeping in mind, we can keep this foot on the floor. We could try this here. We could try it here. Lots of breath. Drawing that navel in and up. All right, let's lower our head. 
Let's bring both feet to the mat and then we'll take the feet as wide as our mat, let our knees fall together. So what this does is it internally rotates the hips, it flattens the lumbar curve to a certain extent so that it can release. If it's uncomfortable, come out of it. But this is very restorative for the lower back, just in case we're feeling any discomfort from either the poses we did or maybe who knows from what else, we slept the wrong way, we did something that kind of aggravated the lower back. Fabulous pose to come into. Hands to the sides, palms up. Head to center, let's close the eyes and mouth. So we wanna take a moment here to just integrate all of our restorative work. Again, calming the body, quieting the mind allowing healing to take place. Now we can stay here for as long as we like in this restful pose with the knees together, or we could heel toe the feet in and extend the legs into Shavasana, the ultimate in restoration. In Shavasana, we let go. We allow ourselves to melt. We allow ourselves to just be at one with our breath. So let's flood the entire body with air, and then we'll let it go. And then we'll flood the mind. And we'll just separate ourselves for now from the chatter. And with the next few breaths, Yoga invites us to assume nothing. So as with all wilbies, with all of our practices, we are welcome to stay. We can just wiggle our fingers and toes. Rolling our ankles and wrists. And we'll give a bend to the back knee, rolling over to the camera, and then slowly pushing ourselves up. Finding our way back, my friends. Hands to Anjali Mudra, thumbs to the heart. Drawing in one more breath. We hold it inside the body, connecting to that heart beating in the chest, and perhaps setting an intention, large or small, for this day. As we exhale, we bow the head, and in closing, yoga invites us to join together in saying Shanti three times. Shanti, 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 meaning peace. Have a peaceful day. Namaste. And we thank you for joining us. I'm Mary Ann, and on behalf of myself and all of us here in Newcastle County, we thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.